You didn't know who you were, but you are a divine minority. And how many of you know when you are a divine minority with God, you become a majority? One man and God can triumph for a thousand. One man and God put Satan on the run. So be careful, weary pilgrims, stand up for God and see one man and God can win the victory. You may feel like a, a minority, but you're a divine minority when you're holding on to God. When he's the one you refuse to let go, he's a jealous God. You start out to serve him, you better not pick up other gods along the way. For if you do, the same God who ran after you will run after you. The same God that did you right, he knows how to bring hurt. He knows how to consume you. Somebody said, that's not New Testament, it's Bible. And it's not to cause you to fear God, it's to cause you to walk in the fear of the Lord, which is reverential fear. You decide that you're gonna pick up sin. You're gonna live your own life instead of a godly life, the way of the Lord. You're gonna find out that it hurts. It may take you years to get to the end of you, but if you were ever his in the beginning, he'll find you. Come on now. He'll chase after you. He will have you. Will you trust that he is sovereign? Will you trust him like Brother Branham said, that God will put a harness and a bit on your trouble? He will restrain your troubles. He will drive them like a man drives a chariot. They will not overcome you. They will not take you under. They'll only bring you again and again and again and again to the foot of the cross. Can you trust a God like that? You see, this is where the church world has it so wrong because they're so upset with how God has been presented that they are presenting a God that's not even the God of the Bible. Have you seen anybody suffer? Did you know Christians get cancer? Did you know Christians lose loved ones? Did you know Christians go through some heartache and high blood pressure? And did you know Christians go through some stuff? Can you still serve a God that would allow that to come on your life? Knowing that he has not allowed it to destroy you, he has allowed it to bring you to the end of you so that you can surrender and let him take over in your life. Come on now.